So, Marie Claro is a, a design company from Toronto, a recycling project, and we are focusing, we are focusing on uh, making accessory from industrial waste material. And this is actually one of our playgrounds where we get our materials from. So, our main studio is on Roncesville, but the scrapyards is like the play area where we source our materials from. And it's funny because you never know actually what you get, but it's always a kind of a, a treasure hunt because uh, you find things that are extremely valuable, but they are not considered as valuable anymore because they are trash. So what I am doing is going into those chunk yards and collecting certain kinds of materials. Um, and this is a photo that is uh, when we started the project, like in 2009. So and this is a scrapyard in Kingston, Ontario. So, and what we are sourcing from, especially from the scrapyards, is the car seat belt, the leather from the cars, and sometimes the buckles and the airbags. So the thing is, the, those kind of leathers, they, it's a, it's a waste material, so this rots away. But, like, this actually, this was the interior from this car, so this is an old Chago and those, the letters that they use are the, one of the most expensive letters they used in those kind of edition of cars. So, and it's, for us, it's crazy why this stuff rots away. So we cut it out and source it. So and those are exploded airbags. This is also one of the materials that we're getting from the chunk yards. It's a, the fabric, it's a nylon 6.6. .6. It's extremely durable. It it's lasts longer than conventional materials. So if you like need a durable material, this is what it is. So, and beside the chunk yards, we're also getting like materials from different other companies. This is a trucking company from Montreal. They provide us with the truck tops. With the, it's a vinyl material. Indestruct indestructible. It has a lifetime on the road of five years. If you use it in an accessory, it lasts, lasts you forever. Bike tubes, it's another source of materials that we are getting. So we're collecting all those materials. We have in Toronto 10 or 15 bike stores where we're getting our materials from. So we go to them collecting a car full of bike tubes and then bring them in our studio. This is a pickup of material from a furniture production company, this is, this is always, we fished it out of their dumpster. So those are miscats of fabrics that they don't use because they overestimate their uh, material content that they use for the production. So after we source all the material, we start to uh, separate them and organize them into the different kind of colors. Uh, we, from this is car seat belt that we got from the chunk yards, we get out, cut out all the metal pieces and make it ready to clean. So those are all the car buckles from the seat belts. We use them, we integrate them in our designs. I will show later on like how it looks like when it's complete. So the step is basically sourcing materials and then organizing them uh, and cleaning them and washing them. So this is uh, our studio, as I said, is in Roncesville. So we clean our materials that we source in a local laundry cleaning business. <laughs> so this is all the seat belt that came from one scrap yard to one. So it goes in the laundry map, it's washed like three times, and then it goes back in our studio. And this is my partner, Villa. She also loves garbage. Uh, <laughs> 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 we both love garbage, but we are also minimalists, so our house is not full of garbage. But anyway, uh, so what she is doing is she brings those things together into our designs. And this is uh, Patricia. She also worked for us. But what she wears is like a jacket made from exploded airbags and a bag that is made from a car seat from a Cadillac combined with the seat belts and the exploded airbags too. So... The idea is to to create from from uh, waste materials uh, p 
beautiful things and showed that it's possible that you can make something beautiful out of garbage. So, and there are like a couple of concepts behind this idea. So this actually is um, the bag that we made from this jaguar that was shown in the, one of the first pictures from this uh, brown leather interior. So, so we cut it out, we cleaned it, and we combined the material with bike tubes, like the binding is the bike tube, then the leather of the bags and the car seat belt. So what, what we try to do is, as I said, showing that you can make from garbage something beautiful and uh, extending a life cycle of, of, an, of a product that is actually not any more used, but uh, you extended the lifetime of this kind of product and you turn it into another product. So the bags that were shown before, they came all from Mercedes upholstery. This is a bag that uh, we made from the truck top, from the truck that was shown before in the pictures. And it's combined with the buckles that we collected, the car seat belts and the bike tubes again. So the idea is basically to look what you find. It's a treasure hunt and then try to bring it into a concept and create another product out of uh, waste material. So those are the seat belts, buckle again, and the front panel is the actual car seat. And this is a backpack that we made from the leather seats from an old Volvo, for example. Uh, yeah. So idea is reducing but making beautiful designs from waste material, reducing the consumption of resources, and having fun. <laughs>